What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video. So after we learn how to place rooms in our project from our last video, so this time around, I'm going to show you how to create a color scheme and place your color scheme legend inside your project. So just a bit of a background about the color scheme. So color schemes are useful for graphically illustrating categories of spaces or rooms. So for example, you can create a color scheme by room name area which is what we are going to do and you can also base it on the occupancy or department so if you want to color rooms in a floor plan by let's say department you can set the department parameter value for each room to the necessary value and then you can create a color scheme based on the values of the department parameter for example and then you can add color fill legend to identify the department that each color represents. In this exercise, we're going to create a color scheme for our area for each room. Okay, and then uh, we are going to put a legend and to colorize our floor plan. All right. So basically, for you to be able to use your color scheme, first, you must have rooms, which is what we did last video and another thing if you want to create color scheme so you can also use the areas that you're going to place in your project the spaces the zones the pipes or ducts that is defined in the project so in our case we're going to use the rooms that we have created okay so let's get uh let's get this started all right so the first thing that we are going to do is just go to the properties so we are going to do this here on our 0, 01 entry level. So I'm going to select the properties and then after that I'll go to the uh, graphics and then look for color scheme. So as you can see it says here none. So you just click the none here, click that one and then after that on the edit color scheme dialog box so what we are going to do we're going to change the category here because we are not going to use the spaces this is for MEP okay so we're going to use the rooms so that's why we're going to click the drop down arrow and then let's go look for the rooms so once you select the rooms you will see here that you already have two default scheme here so you have the name and also by department so what I'm going to do I'm going to create another category here or another scheme so instead of using these two here so i'm gonna use the name and then i'm gonna duplicate that one so click the duplicate icon and then after that just name it so let's say i want this to be for my area so i'll just type the area and then i select your okay so there you go so i now have that category scheme area and then after that here on the right side so you have the scheme definition so what you can do you can specify here the title of the legend that you will be placing on later on so you can change that later as well if you haven't decided what will gonna be the name of your legend so you can leave it as it is now we are going to base our color so instead of name I'm gonna base it based on area so I'm gonna select the area here and then just select OK. All right. And then after that, as you can see by value, you already have here some uh, areas in your project. Okay. So this is not what we are going to do. I want to create my uh, area scheme by range. Let's say, for example, by increment of 200 square, uh, square feet. So I'm going to select here by range. And then I'm going to use here 200 square feet. So it should be at least 200 square feet. Okay, so that is what I would like. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to click the second row. And then I'll just keep on adding. So I just click plus to add. And then after that, click again the third row. And then select add. And then click the last uh, row again, add. Okay, so let's say, for example, I want this to be until uh, 1,400, for example. So I'm going to select again and then click once more. 
So these are now uh, the increment, the range. So the increment is by 200 square feet. So as you can see here, there's the caption and then you can also uh, make it visible or invisible by checking or unchecking the box here. And then you can also specify the color, okay, of your color scheme later on. And then after that, you can also specify here the fill pattern. So instead of solid fill, you can change that with other uh, pattern. So in AutoCAD, it's like a hatch pattern. Okay, so but for this one, I'll just use here solid fill. So now that I have set up the range for my area color scheme, so I am now going to select here OK to apply that to our model. And there you go. Okay, and then as you can see, it now all applies to our uh, rooms here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to add a color scheme legend or color fill legend. So to do that, so from the annotate tab, let's look for the color fill. And then you can see here the color fill legend. So just click the color fill legend. And then after that, so there's the legend and then there's the title as well. So I'm going to place it here. And there you go. So you now have your room legend. All right, so that's how you do it. So it's not that difficult as long as you already specify the rooms in your project. So the next thing that you can do is just uh, create your color fill. Okay, now like what I have said earlier, you can modify the color or you can modify the pattern. So let's say for less than 200 square feet. I want a different color. So let's say color blue and I do not want a solid color. I want a pattern. So how to edit? So to edit your uh, color fill, so you just need to click the legend and then from the modify color fill legends, so you can select here edit scheme. So click edit scheme and you will be going back again to edit color scheme dialog box. So let's say um, I'm a, I want to change the color less than 200 so less than 200 square feet i want to change that color so let's say i want that to be blue or bluish and then okay and then i want to change the pattern here so instead of solid so i want a concrete for example so i can select concrete and there's the preview and then after that i can select now again okay here and there you have it Okay, so there's now my uh, rooms with less than 200 square feet of area. So if you want to double check, so you can click the room there. And then after that, you can go to properties and then you can see here the area. So it's less than 200 square feet. All right. Okay, so that's it for this uh, short video. So that's how you create your color scheme. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.